Outlining the China policy of the current White House on Thursday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken rehashed the same old China threat theory. During the lengthy speech on the country's China strategy, Blinken hyped up the "you win, I lose" style competition and blog politics, peddled lies about China's human rights records, and smeared China's domestic and foreign policies. He even described China as the most serious long-term challenge to the international order, while claiming that Washington is not looking for conflict or a new Cold War. Such paradox is what the current U.S. administration has turned out to be, containing China while pretending that it does not want to. Commenting on Blinken's slanders, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Zhao Lijian said. The attacks on China mirror exactly what the United States has been doing. Blinken 对华政策演讲可谓是满篇谎言，颠倒黑白。其中攻击中国的根据，恰恰是当今美国的所作所为，对国际秩序构成最严重。长期性挑战的帽子，美国自己戴着最合适。美方口中鼓吹的所谓以规则为基础的国际秩序，说穿了就是以美国规则为基础的国际秩序，是用家法方规主宰世界的霸权秩序。At a recent event, Chinese ambassador to the United States Qin Gang said that competition is not the mainstream or theme of China-U.S. relations. The notion that the China-U.S. relationship is defined by competition will only escalate tensions and lead to conflict.